Welcome to the urban jungle, a concrete jungle that is. Today, we're going to explore the exciting world of urban foraging. You don't have to venture out into the wilderness to find delicious, nutritious, and free food. It might surprise you to learn that many of the plants and fungi growing in the city are edible. We may think that fresh produce and foraged foods are limited to the countryside, but that seems to not be the case with lots of wild and edible plants right in our very own cities. In this video, we'll take a look at the practice of foraging in the concrete jungle, how to identify, harvest, and prepare edible wild plants, mushrooms, and other food sources in urban areas, and discuss some safety tips and urban foraging techniques. Urban foraging is a growing trend that's gaining popularity around the world, and one of the benefits of foraging in urban areas is that there's a wide variety of wild edible plants and mushrooms that can be found right in the city. However, it's important to know how to identify them properly to avoid picking anything poisonous. Some of the most common edible plants found in urban environments include dandelions, plantain, and wild garlic, while mushrooms such as oyster mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms can be found growing on trees. It's important to research the plants and mushrooms that grow in your area and learn how to identify them properly. The first step in identifying wild edible plants and mushrooms is to familiarize yourself with their characteristics. Most edible plants and mushrooms have unique features that make them easy to identify, such as distinctive leaves, stems, or caps. You can also use a field guide or a mobile app like iNaturalist and Wild Edibles to help you identify wild plants and mushrooms. These apps use image recognition software to help you identify plants and mushrooms based on photos that you take with your smartphone. However, never eat anything that you're not 100% sure is safe to consume. Safety Tips and Potential Risks Foraging in the concrete jungle can also pose some risks such as health hazards from contaminated or poisonous plants, legal issues from trespassing or violating regulations, and ecological impacts from over-harvesting or damaging plants. It requires knowledge, skills, and ethics to identify edible plants harvest them sustainably and safely, prepare them appropriately and respectfully, and share them equitably and generously with others. Plants growing in the city may have been exposed to pollutants or other toxins. Avoid foraging in areas that are close to busy roads or industrial sites. Additionally, be cautious of animals that may have been in contact with the contaminated areas. It's essential to wear gloves and wash any harvested plants or fruits thoroughly. If you're unsure about the safety of a particular area or plant, consult with local experts or avoid harvesting altogether. One way to reduce the risks of urban foraging is to be mindful of the season. Certain plants and mushrooms are more likely to be found during specific seasons. For example, many edible plants are in season during the spring and summer, while mushrooms are more abundant in the fall. It's also important to be respectful of public and private property and obtain permission before harvesting from private land. Some cities have specific regulations regarding foraging, so be sure to research the local laws and regulations before heading out. Best Practices for Urban Foraging Urban foraging requires a bit of creativity and resourcefulness. Start by exploring local parks and green spaces, abandoned lots, or even your backyard. Many plants that are considered weeds such as dandelions and plantain are edible and abundant in urban environments. Fruit trees and berry bushes can be found in public spaces and residential areas. You can also look for mushrooms growing on trees or in shaded areas. However, always make sure to get permission before harvesting from private property. Another way to ensure a sustainable foraging experience is to only harvest what you need. Over-harvesting can deplete natural resources and harm the ecosystem. Consider leaving some of the plants or mushrooms for others to enjoy or for wildlife to use as a food source. Additionally, avoid picking plants that are rare or endangered. It's important to respect the environment and contribute to the preservation of natural resources. There are many examples of edible plants that you can find in urban areas, depending on the climate, season, and location. Some common ones are roses. You can eat the petals raw or cooked or make them into jams, syrups, teas, or ice creams. They have a sweet and floral flavor that are rich in vitamin C1. Dandelions You can eat the young leaves raw or cooked, or make them into salads, soups, pesto, or tea. 
You can also eat the flowers raw or cooked, or make them into wine, jelly, or fritters. The roots can be roasted and ground into a coffee substitute. Dandelions are nutritious and have many health benefits. Acorns You can eat the nuts after shelling them and leaching out the bitter tannins by soaking them in water. You can then roast them, grind them into flour, or make them into porridge, bread, or cookies. Acorns are high in protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Stinging nettles You can eat the young shoots and leaves after cooking them to remove the stinging hairs. You can then use them like spinach in stir-fries, soups, quiches, or pesto. Nettles are rich in iron, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin C2. Fiddlehead Ferns you can eat the young curled fawns of certain fern species before they unfurl. You can then boil them or steam them and serve them with butter, lemon, garlic, or vinegar. Fiddleheads have a nutty and grassy flavor and are high in antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamin A2. Daylilies You can eat the flowers raw or cooked, or make them into salads, stir-fries, soups, or desserts. They have a sweet and crunchy texture and a mild floral flavor. You can also eat the young shoots and tubers of daylilies. Catbriar You can eat the young shoots, leaves, and roots of this vine-like plant that grows in many urban areas. You can also eat the blue blackberries from some species. Catbriar has a mild and slightly bitter flavor and is high in starch, protein, and vitamin C3. Woody Herbs You can find many herbs that grow well in urban environments, such as rosemary, thyme, sage, lavender, and mint. You can also use them to flavor your dishes, make teas, or infuse oils in vinegar. Herbs have many culinary and medicinal uses. These are just some examples of edible plants that you can find in urban areas. There are many more that you can discover with some research and observation. However, you should always be careful when foraging in urban areas and follow some basic rules we discussed earlier. Also when foraging, Bring a bag or basket to carry your harvest, and some gloves to protect your hands. If you're planning on harvesting mushrooms, bring a knife to cut them off the tree or ground. Make sure to properly store and transport your harvest to avoid damaging the plants or mushrooms. Once you get home, clean your harvest thoroughly and store it in a cool, dry place. Benefits of Urban Foraging Urban foraging offers many benefits to individuals and communities. For one, it's a great way to connect with nature and learn more about the local environment. It can also be a fun and rewarding way to source fresh organic produce for free. By foraging, you can also reduce your environmental impact by eating locally and reducing food waste. In addition, urban foraging can have social and community building benefits. Foraging can be a great way to meet like-minded people and connect with your community. Many cities have urban foraging groups or events that bring people together to explore and learn about wild edible plants and mushrooms. In conclusion, urban foraging is a fascinating and sustainable practice that offers many benefits to individuals and communities. With careful attention to safety, plant identification, and respect for public and private property, anyone can start foraging in the concrete jungle. Whether you're a seasoned forager or just starting out, we encourage you to explore the diverse range of wild edible plants and mushrooms that can be found in urban environments. Happy foraging! We hope you enjoyed this documentary on foraging in the concrete jungle. Remember to always be safe and respectful when foraging in urban areas. By doing so, you can discover a world of nutritious and delicious foods that are waiting to be harvested right in your own backyard.